So Lena, uh, we are going to do this interview today mm-hmm. with you, so that people get to know more about you. I also would like to know. Mm-hmm. But before we do the interview, let's play a three check chess. Please. Because I got to know that Lenart is a big expert at this format. Mm-hmm. Three check. So can you just explain the rules so that? Yeah, I mean, like three check is like it's like normal chess. The normal rules of chess apply, but you can win the game by checkmate. But you can also win the game by giving three checks. Okay. Doesn't have to be three in a row. Just whenever during the the game you give three checks, you you win the game. Okay. So so, so I have to basically take care that you don't give me three checks. Yes, that's all you have to do. Okay. Okay, checkmate. Okay. <laughs> so, good luck. Yeah. And let's begin. You were hesitating there. You took your D4. I, I I am a D4 player, but I thought yeah. uh, here there's three checks, so this is the checking. Point. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, you because otherwise I might actually like go for your uh, for your king. Okay. Okay, I will give you a chance. Oh, thanks for not playing knight b4. <laughs> ah, you're scared of the knight b4. Ah. It's not a good move, yeah? No. The thing is, like, it's uh, it's great to get the center, to develop your pieces. And uh, and if I start to move two or three times with the same piece, it's actually losing time for ah. me. And then, and then this point will be very weak. Hmm. But Sagar, I have a threat. You can touch for your, you can go for your bishop, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that threat is uh, quite oh, quite a good move, man. So, do you play any variants? No, I don't. I don't play much. Because uh, <laughs> like now, it's actually like I'm interviewing uh, Sagar. You see, Lenart. Uh... Oh man. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. Got it. And he takes the pawn. <laughs> so now you can give me one check, but that would mean your knight will fall. So. Yes. So what do you do in normal chess when you have a threat, but you cannot make it work? And you will create a new one. So you are now having one check, two checks. It's still not three checks. Hmm. Okay, let's let's take one check here for peace. Okay, you're you're greedy. Yeah, greedy man. I don't know how important is one check. Is it worth a piece or not? No, that's that's the big question. I mean, I think if you can take on f7, basically it means that uh, my king will be unsafe for the rest of the game. Yeah. So it might be worth it, but at the same time, you have not developed any other pieces and you took with the queen yeah if you take with the king there's your queen to h5 exactly. second and third check so what i would do now you haven't given me any checks yet no no I'll i'm go. very easy on you really Sagar! what what did you do what happened check oh oh I, 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 check two. And that's over. And my third check will be here. It's my pre, no, not my pre move, but three checks. Tricky game, huh? Very tricky, very tricky. So I should not have uh, played knight e2. No. Or maybe bishop e3. Bishop e3 is, is a great move. Yeah. I like that. So I was thinking maybe I will play. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's okay. I'm playing world number one in three checks. Nah, not number one. Okay, not number, number one. top ten. Top ten. Yeah. Top ten. Okay. But maybe I will just play my bishop here. Just develop. And because um, okay. if you take with the pawn, I still have a check. Yeah. And you don't have just one check. You have two. Okay, I can go king f one, but I don't want to. Ooh, king f one, queen c four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Check. two checks. Either. Okay, how about knight f3? Takes. Takes, queen takes. And that, that should be good, yeah? Oh, but then I have lost a piece. Mm. You've lost a piece? Yeah, why? Yeah, you're giving away a check. 
Okay, let's then force you to do this. Mm -hmm. But you follow again for the same, same trick. Same. same trick. Oh, knight queen f2. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing this. <laughs> so, Leonard, where did you get so good at free check? So, I, I play a lot on Lichas. Lichas is a great website for variants. And uh, so basically I started to play during the pandemic, let's say like somewhere like March, April 2020. I came back from the candidates and I was like, shit, there's no tournaments. What am I ever going to do with my life? And I started to play normal chess. And of course, I'm not great in normal chess, like I'm rated like 2100. Yeah. And, uh, and then someone I was like at a, at a party and someone showed me three check. I was like, hey, that's a cool game. Let's, let's simply try it. And, um, cool. and when I tried it, I figured out. Who won? Three check <laughs> So when I started to, to play, I realized there's also some opening theory. Mm. And that's something that I really like. If also like in normal chess, I like to, can you to show check us some op opening yeah. theory. Yeah, so like in normal chess, I like to check openings and stuff. And then I figured out that like in three check, we can, we can show a lot of openings. So one of the first things that I uh, invented, because like that's a cool thing, there's not so much theory established, you know, so you can find your own opening moves and everything. So I do like the same, yeah, this knight here. So you played your pawn here, which is okay. But like, let's say you play knight f3. And then I came up with the move that you will not expect. G5. Okay, you take. I play, and then usually what I do in three checks, I wait five seconds. You know, so the opponent thinks like, ah, you made a blunder, mouse slip. <laughs> he has to recover from this. Then I play e6. And then the most logical move in three check is just to take there, right? Yeah. Because if I take back, the queen comes out with a check, and I think it's already like three checks. Big problem. So, this, but it's an opening trap. You, no. So this will not work because I still have check. I take it, and the queen goes here with second check. So yeah. that's not good. However, I can play my queen all the way to h4. Oof. And now I have threats. You can take them. <coughs> then I take because here. You have only two checks. Yeah. You only you you have no you don't have any checks. No, I mean you no, have no. only two checks. With yes. Checks but see the coordination between the bishop and the knight. So the now, bishop now takes. I can, I can keep, go, go on a dark square, so I have yeah. this and this. Yes. Which means that my knight goes to d4 over. with the third check. Oh, over. Over, it's yeah. Over. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, everybody I ever played in three check and I tried this for the first time, they fell for it, you know? <laughs> so then I was like, okay, cool. I can even like with black, because like white is much better from the start. So but is like, this trap called a Leonard trap in three check? They should, they should call it the Leonard <laughs> trap, because like, yeah, this is something that I invented, you know. Like, and the cool thing is, I can analyze with the engine. So they have like um, someone created like Stockfish version for for variants, so including three check. So it's a very strong engine, and um, and yeah, I worked together with the engine to find this move G five and to make it work. Wow, wow. Is there is there any like for, for a beginner like me, like when let's say a beginner comes to me and says I want to learn chess, I would say like go to bishop c4 and castle. Yeah. So what yeah. would you yeah. recommend? For for black or for white? For white. So for white, what I usually do, if I can make like four or five moves in a row, I play my pawn here, then I play my knight here. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Hopefully. Supri on camera. <laughs> so I, then I move my knight here. And I move my knight here. I play d4. And then hopefully I can play e5, my knight here. And I want to create threats. So that's basically my standard plan with white. And, uh, but I can show you another super cool line. Uh, this time it's for white. We'll have a lot of fun. So, six, I see three, and we play Sicilian. No, so greedy, so <laughs> greedy. Okay. Here, and let's say e5. E5 is a good move, yeah. And also like to go here. So let's say d5, perfect. 
So now there's like a couple of moves you can take, you can play a knight here, another one is like bishop here, bishop here. Let's say that, um, let's say that a castle. And now I will show you like a bad move for, for black. Knight mm. e7. So now with white you already feel like, hey, I can go for the attack. Yeah, so, but like you that. cannot really get your knight here. Yeah. But there's always like the weak spot, and you set it at the start, f7. Let's say play knight f5, yeah. attacking it. Okay, you go for it. You take back, queen h5, first check, g6. What will you play? It's, okay. a it's a puzzle, a two-check, not so fast. This and this, these are the options. Also there is knight e4 in the air. Um, mm -hmm. And then there's this bishop c4 and stuff there. Also this move comes to mind. Yeah, yeah, but I will not take. Yeah, but then my... Uh, Maybe I will take with my knight here, I don't know. It's a puzzle, yeah. It's a, it's very, a puzzle. It's, it's a very nice uh, way to think. It's a forced win for white. Forced win for white. I can see, like, if I give this check, I don't see the next check coming from. Yeah, that's the cool thing about three check. What I like about three check, it's all about uh, geometry of the pieces. You know, pieces go backwards. You have to understand how the knights and the bishop work together. Um, open files sometimes. So I, I learned a lot about activity and um, geometry in chess. I don't want to give up. Okay, I could take this knight. Okay, take it, take it. Then you take. Mm -hmm. And then let's see what happens. And then I come here with the idea of nice mm -hmm. check. Mm -hmm. Then you can even go back to G8. Hey, let's, put, let's put it on the board. Check. Your second check. Mm -hmm. I think this makes sense. Yes, because this one, you have E6. It's immediately over. So then... Okay. Yeah. Bishop goes back. Very important move. Oh, if you go here, this is over. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, <laughs> what is? Let's say we go to dark square. Yeah. But then this. Yeah. And the bishops will do the job. There's no way to defend. If you go here, this. Yeah. The point is yeah, yeah, yeah. to put in between. Yeah. It's funny, right? It's like amazing. you give up your, your queen, and then the bishop goes back, and then the bishops work together. So, Leonard, you are like a photographer, mm -hmm. like a very fine photographer. You are, you also have set this up, like the live games here. Mm -hmm. So, basically, at every tournament, you have you do these roles, right? Yeah. What else? Yeah, and then sometimes I support the video broadcast, but this time you could do it by yourself, so you don't need me. But uh, but those are the three things that I do, and sometimes I make a website for the tournament, or I give advice, or those type of things. Why? But I, I really like... Yeah, yeah, you also make websites, right? Yeah, but not so much anymore, like it's a lot of work. <laughs> but uh, I, I really like to uh, to be creative and do technical things at the same time. But one thing I've seen is that you are tremendously efficient, like you are able to finish all your work, mm -hmm. you are able to be at the dinner table relaxed, yeah. you are able to hang out with people, mm -hmm. yet do all the work. Mm -hmm. What's the secret? Uh, I think it's a lot of experience. Um, I'm, so like with, for example, with photos, of course you take a photo, but then you have to edit the photo. So you have to load it to your computer, crop it, make the colors better. And I think I'm quite efficient and fast with that. And uh, especially like on days like yesterday, when we had like a winner in the Rapid, I also feel the energy. Like I understand like, wow, this, this young boy, he wins such a tournament for the first time in his life. And I want to make sure that there's nice photos immediately on the internet. So I really want to do it also for him, you know, yeah. to do it fast. So uh, yeah, it's just because of the love of the game. Maybe. It's love of the game and you have uh, robust processes, like quickly shifting it, putting yeah. it in the Lightroom, yeah. exporting it, putting it on Dropbox. Yeah, it's exactly. like you have all the things in place. Yeah. And okay. also it's some experience. Like I, I do so many tournaments. so like. It becomes a little bit of a routine sometimes, but that's a good thing. Yeah.
And because of this, you have traveled a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's my third time in Kolkata, fourth time in India. Uh, after this, I will go to the World Championship match, where I will do the DGT board there. And I will... You're the one who's going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I will also help the production crew a little bit. With, uh, with some chess knowledge and stuff. And you, you visited like more than what, 50 countries or so? 67. 67? Yes. Wow. And I have not been to Liechtenstein, San Marino or those type, Andorra, no, 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 just like real countries. <laughs> and so do you have an aim like to reach 100? No. Nothing like that? No, what? no, it's not, with the, with the fun, no, just to have fun, to go to, nice, to go to nice places, like I don't want to I'm, I'm not like Nigel Short, who's like, ah, I want to reach 100 or I want to reach as many as possible. No, like, I just want to go to nice places. But, yeah. but do, uh, not in terms of travel, but for your life, do you have any aims? Uh, that, you, that I want to do this in the year? Because now we've already mastered this thing, which you can yeah. continue doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, like, David Jara had like this great book, and he's working on the second version of the book, The Thinkers. Uh, but like, so far, I don't have anything planned for that. Uh, maybe I, I always feel that like I should go to more events with amateurs because like I always go to events with the top players and uh, and they're yeah, they're just so serious, you know, like they hardly move. And then like yesterday, I went to the uh, to the amateur section and it was like these young kids and they're all like doing like this, it's some crazy stuff, you know? And uh, that's just like, this is, it, it creates more fun and interesting photos. So maybe that's something I have to do more. Yeah. And uh, it's always wonderful to see you, to meet you. Yeah, it's and, a pleasure. Uh, uh, before I end this interview, you have to choose one of your photos, which is your favorite. I know it's like asking the top GM, ah. which is their favorite game of chess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you have that signature picture? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Not really. No? No. But I mean, there's so, there so many photos, you know, that I like, and it's very hard to critique your own work. So, if I look at my own photos, I might not be as excited uh, as I see sometimes photos of David Yada or uh, Nikki or someone else. You know. Okay, maybe <laughs> that will come in this World Championship yeah. match. Yes. That picture. <laughs> yeah, who knows, who knows. And uh, I hope you enjoyed too, Jack. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I, I learned something new and I hope the viewers did as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lena. Yeah. You're welcome.